Jess, are banks generally healthier starting 2010 than they were at the same time last year? They are, Suzanne. Uh, but there is a dichotomy here between the largest banks out there that have strengthened their balance sheets and gained capital and the regional banks and the local banks, which fit into a different category. And that's where we've seen a lot of bank failures uh, in 2009. Um, what do you foresee in that regard uh, going forward? We've seen the number predicted as high as 250 this year, but uh, that's a moving target. And it all depends on a number of different fact and fa factors around you know, the health of the commercial real estate uh, environment and construction lending primarily. Right. So, and one of the options when you have the failed banks is finding buyers for those failed banks. What's the market like for acquirers? I mean, are there buyers out there? Um, I think the most likely category of buyers, and this is where I think the FDIC has the greatest interest, is around seasoned management teams tying up with private long-term investors that are looking to take these banks on and turn them around.